friends in this video we are going to solve a problem on how to draw the nyquist plot of a system whose transfer function is given to us so let's take a problem So our problem is that a unity feedback system has a loop transfer function and transfer function is given to us as gs equals to 50 upon s plus 1 s plus 2. So we have to use the Nyquist criteria to determine the system stability in the closed loop configuration and also we have to see that whether the open loop system is stable or not. Okay. So let's try to solve this question okay so we are given the loop transfer function gs equals to 50 upon s plus 1 s plus 2 so in first step we will put this s equals to j omega okay so that we will be able to find out the g j omega so g j omega will be equals to 50 upon j omega plus 1 and j omega plus 2 okay so we have obtained this g j omega now for this g j omega we will write the magnitude and the angle conditions okay so step number 2 will be write the equations because we have to draw the first the polar plot for this system and then we will draw the Nyquist plot. Because Nyquist plot is a special case of polar plot. We will draw the polar plot then its mirror image will be formed and then it will be the Nyquist plot. So first we will write the equations for magnitude. Magnitude is represented by this and phase angle okay so magnitude is represented by m and it is given by we have the transfer function as 50 upon j omega plus 1 and j omega plus 2 so magnitude will be 50 upon under root of 1 plus omega square and under root of we have j omega plus 2 so omega square plus 4 okay so this is the magnitude of g j omega now angle phase angle phase angle is represented by phi so phi will be equals to tan inverse we have in the numerator there is no imaginary part only real part is present so if we want to find out the tan theta of a function that is x plus j y then it will be tan inverse of y upon x that is imaginary part upon the real part now here we are not having any imaginary part only real part is present so tan inverse of 0 upon 50. Now for denominator we will use the minus sign then we have tan inverse omega upon 1 minus for this we have tan inverse of omega upon 2 because imaginary part is omega square and real part is 2 here omega plus 2 
okay so it is the phase angle of this function so phi will become tan inverse minus tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of omega by 2 okay so we have obtained the magnitude and the angle conditions for this gj omega now we will draw the polar plot for this system so polar plot is what it is the plot of the magnitude and the phase angle on the polar coordinates and the omega that is the frequency it is varied from 0 to infinity okay so omega varies from 0 to infinity okay so we will draw a table in which we will vary the value of omega from 0 to infinity and then we will find out the value of the magnitude and the phase angle for the various values of omega so let's form a table we are having a table here then okay and now we will vary the value of the omega from 0 to infinity so if we keep the value of omega as 0 then putting this 0 value in the magnitude equation that is our first equation so here if we put omega equals to 0 then it will be 1 and here it will be equals to 2 so 50 by 2 and the magnitude will become 25 okay now putting omega equals to 0 in this second equation angle condition angle equation so here minus tan inverse of 0 minus tan inverse of 0 okay so tan inverse of 0 it is 0 so 5 will be equals to 0 degrees now change the value of omega let it be 1 so the magnitude will be 50 upon 1 plus 1 and here under root of 1 plus 4 that is root 5 so 1 plus 1 root 2 and root 5 so it will uh, if we solve this its value will come out to be 16 and putting omega equals to 1 in this second equation that is minus tan inverse of 1 minus tan inverse of 1 by 2 that is minus tan inverse of 1 it is 45 degrees and it is minus tan inverse of 0.5 that is 1 by 2 it is uh, the value of 60 degrees so, so we will get the value of phi as minus 72 degrees okay now third we have put the value as omega equals to 2 magnitude will be 8 and phase angle will be 108 degrees you just have to put the values of omega and then calculate the values of m and phi so let's write it when omega is equals to 10 20 10 we have magnitude 0 0.5 minus 163 degrees for omega equals to 20 magnitude is 0 0.1 So for various values of omega from 0 to infinity, we have obtained the magnitude and the phase angle. Now we are going to plot this magnitude and the phase angle on the polar coordinates. Okay, so that we will be able to find out the polar plot of the system. This is our imaginary axis and this is the real axis magnitude is plotted on this uh, real axis okay so first we will draw we have the magnitude as 25 16 then 8 0 0.5 0 0.1 so we will divide this on we have 5 10 15 20 
25 okay and this will be 2.5 this is 0 here also you will divide 5 10 15 20 25 okay now when you can see that when omega equals to 0 phase angle is 0 degrees so this is 0 degrees this is plus 90 degree this is minus 180 degrees this is minus 90 degrees okay and whenever we plot the negative phase angle it is measured in the clockwise direction in the polar plots okay and uh, if the phase angle is positive it will be measured in the anti-clockwise direction so for omega equals to zero the magnitude is 25 and phase angle is zero degree so this is the point okay for omega equals to zero now for omega equals to one the phase angle is minus 72 degrees minus 72 degrees will be here so minus 72 degrees okay and for omega equals to 2 the phase angle is minus 108 degrees so it will be in this direction minus 108 degrees for omega equals to 10 phase angle is minus 163 degrees so it will be 163 degrees then for omega equals to 20 phase angle is minus 171 degrees so 171 degrees then for 100 we have 178 and for omega equals to infinity the phase angle is minus 180 degree so it is for omega equals to infinity now at infinity the magnitude is zero so it is here omega equals to infinity and the value is zero then for omega equals to 100 magnitude was 0 0.005 so it is somewhat here okay for omega equals to 20 magnitude is 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 will be also somewhere here so when we mark all these points okay and then so for various values of the omega we will mark the points that is for omega equals to 0 1 2 10 for omega equals to 10 it is 0 0.5 so it is here okay now we have marked all the points let's join these points so that we will obtain the Nyquist plot for uh, omega equals to 2 the magnitude is 8 and the phase angle is minus 108 degrees so we will join these points okay and write the frequencies over here this is for omega equals to 0 this is minus 72 degrees is for omega equals to 1 omega equals to 2 omega equals to 10 okay write the frequencies over here and we have joined the points okay and it is the direction of the polar plot starting from omega equals to 0 and terminating at omega equals to infinity now draw the mirror image of this plot Okay. we have drawn this is the mirror image of the polar plot it is the polar plot of the system okay now let's see that whether this point has encircled the minus 1 plus j0 point we have drawn the polar plot okay now our next step will be 
to check the stability now for stability check we will use the equation n equals to p minus z n is what it is the number of encirclements of the point minus 1 plus j0 now here this plot it is not encircling the point minus 1 plus j0 this is 5 okay and 1 is here 0 1 2 3 4 5 we will divide the point it is the plot it is not encircling this minus 1 plus j0 point okay so n will be equals to 0 now p it is the number of poles of GSHS that are on the right half of the S plane. So here no pole is on the right half of the S plane so P is equals to 0 because our transfer function was GS equals to 50 upon s plus 1 s plus 2 so we have only two poles s equals to minus 1 s equals to minus 2 and both these poles they are lying on the left hand side so no pole is on the right half of the s plane so p will be equals to 0 now from this equation n is 0 p is 0 so z will be 0 and if z is equals to 0 it means that the system closed loop system is stable okay now here p is also coming out to be 0 so if p is equals to 0 then we can say that open loop system is stable So for this transfer function we can say that both the uh, p is equals to 0, z equals to 0. So both open loop and closed loop system is stable. Okay, that is both open loop stability and closed loop stability is present for this system. So, whenever we want to have any question on the Nyquist plot, first we will put S equals to J omega in that transfer function and then we will obtain the magnitude and the phase angle conditions. We will draw a table varying the value of the frequency from 0 to infinity. Then we will draw the polar plot and from the polar plot we will draw the mirror image of that polar plot so that we will be able to got the Nyquist plot of the system. Now we will check that uh, n equals to p minus z we will use this equation to check the stability we will observe the number of encirclements of the minus 1 plus j0 point and then we will uh, comment on the stability of the system whether the open loop system is stable or the closed loop system is stable or the system is overall stable okay so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you